We could of course put all our code into one main file and then just compile and run that file. However, I think starting organized from the very beginning is a good approach. Hence, if you think my project outline is too complicated for such a simple toy example, bear with me. It will pay dividends. This way, we can simply add new stuff once we get more complicated. Also, notice that there are multiple ways how you can structure your project. Obviously, the very first step is creating a folder for our project. Since I will show you the bare basics, we can call it Go Basics. So I'll go into my development folder, so CD development. And I create a folder called Go Basics, so mkdir Go Basics. Let's go into that folder. And inside that folder, we have to initialize our Go project using the Go command line utility, like so. We say Go, which is the command line utility, mod in it. And then I say github.com forward slash, then my GitHub handle, and then the name of the project, Go Basics. This might seem familiar to you if you come from a JVM language. You start out with a domain, which in this case is my GitHub profile, and then you add the name of your project. However, in this case, the domain is not inverted. Great, we now have everything ready. Later, we will cover what this command will actually do. But for now, just notice that this will create two files holding information on your project. For example, this includes all dependencies. Okay, right now we only have one file, but there will be a second file once our project grows and we start compiling our files. Next, we want to add some folders in your project. These folders will serve specific purposes. So let's add two folders for now, command and internal. The command folder will hold the main applications for our project. This will hold the code for the executables that we want to compile. Those are the entry points for our program. The internal folder contains the library code that we wish not to be imported by other applications. This will be all for now since it suffices for our simple toy examples. Again, we could have also just put all the code in a single Go file. However, I would like to have our code separated now from the beginning to foster good habits. So we are now ready to write some code. And in this section, I just want to write a simple Hello World program. Let's start by opening our text editor. Again, use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. I'm going to use NeoVim, but you can use whatever you want. Right now, we only have the empty folders in our project. So if I open those folders, you will see there's nothing in there. So let's change that by adding a simple example folder inside the command folder, which will hold the example application. Next, we open that file. We can now start with writing some code. The first thing that we want to do is declaring the name of the package we are currently in. We're simply going to call it main since it will be the main function for our program. You can probably make out that the two forward slashes indicate a comment. The package keyword is reserved and should be followed by the name of the package. No need to add your entire project name to it. That will be done for you. Next, we need to declare whether we want to import something. I decide to import the built-in format package, which is used to print stuff on the screen. This is done by using the import statement and then a list of modules that we would like to import. The names should be enclosed in quotation marks and separated by lines. Finally, let's define a main function that we wish to run. The function is defined by using the func statement with the name of the function and two parentheses followed. 
notice that at this point, it doesn't do anything since we haven't defined anything to do inside the main function. Hence, we want to add something to it. We want to print the text, hello world to the screen. So inside the curly braces, write format, but print line, and in quotation marks, hello world. Notice that we are using the format module that we have imported previously. Inside that module, there is a function called print line, which takes a string argument and prints that string to the screen with a line break appended to it. We now would like to compile that program and execute it. For this, we need to use the build command of the go command line utility and point it to the application file that we have just created. So we're going to say go build, and the file is in command example, example go. If we now list the content of the project folder, you will see that there is a new executable file in there. Let's run that file. We will be happy to see that the text hello world was printed to the screen. Our first go program.